Have you ever watched groups of great white sharks swimming together and thought, wow, maybe this is a social species? I've spent years observing great whites at Mossel Bay's Heart of Moss Reef, possibly the world's greatest concentration of great white sharks. And I can tell you one thing, it's a fascinating scene. Multiple sharks on the same reef swimming within just a few meters of each other. You'll see them loosely circling each other, maybe one following another from a distance. When a bigger one does approach, the smaller one will peel away, almost like an invisible pecking order. A lot of people see this footage and say, here's the evidence of a social species, such as orcas, such as wolves, a complex, coordinated society. But if you look closely, you'll see that these gatherings aren't in fact evidence of social behavior. And here's why. These are what we call aggregations, sharks coming together for a common purpose. Maybe that's hunting seals on the nearby seal colony, hunting fish on the reef, maybe even getting cleaned by the fish and reef. They've been drawn together in pursuit of a common resource. In fact, many of the sharks that I've filmed are heavily scarred. Deep bite marks, gouges, clear evidence that when these animals do come together, it's about competition, dominance, defense, maybe territoriality not about social bonding. So, whilst it may look like a team out there, we're actually watching a group of solitary predators crossing paths on the same hunting ground, drawn together, looking for a similar resource. This is aggregation, not cooperation. And for me, that's part of what makes great white sharks so compelling. Yes, they can share the same space but each one is an individual, driven by its own survival, perfectly evolved to be that solitary predator. I'm Ryan Johnson, and this is a Shark Show.